Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday afternoon, and welcome to the initial episode of the third and final weekly series I plan on introducing this NFL season. This one is quite simply the situational play calling of the 2020 Seattle Seahawks and how it compares to not only the prior Seahawks teams that were coached offensively by Brian Schottenheimer, but other teams in the league. So, basically the idea here is very simple. It should be a good deal quicker to get through than my other two planned weekly series. This one takes a look at the offensive play calling of the Seahawks because, personally, I'm not worried about the players on this offense. The Seahawks, they have a quarterback who I trust. I know what I'm going to get out of him. I know what I'm going to get out of these running backs for the most part. I'm not worried about these receivers, not really worried about these tight ends beyond potential injuries. Uh, offensive line might be worth keeping an eye on, but honestly, for the most part, I don't feel the need to keep a super close eye on any one player or any one positional group on the offense because, frankly, I trust most of them. I think this offense is ready to be, at the minimum, a top eight offense this year maybe top five, maybe even a little higher than that. The talent is there. So this isn't going to be about the players. I trust these players. The person that I don't tr trust is Brian Schottenheimer. He's done some things that I have liked since he got here. He's done some things that I don't like. And basically, we're just going to be keeping an eye on how often the Seahawks run the ball. And more than that, we're going to be taking a look at the situations in which the Seahawks decide to run the ball. So after every game, after every week, whenever I get the opportunity to, to uh, manually ch get the metrics, we're going to take a look and see what situations are the Seahawks running the ball versus passing the ball. Now I have here in a spreadsheet a handful of metrics that I will be keeping an eye on going into 2020. It's pretty simple. So run percentage. So we got a uh, nine total metrics here we're going to be tracking. I'm going to go through them real quick. We have run percentage. This is quite simply the percentage of times in which a team ran the ball on an offensive play. In 2008, we had a staggering 55.6%. 55.6% of our running plays, of our plays were running plays. That was first in the league by quite a bit. 534 running plays for the offense this year. Last year, it came down significantly to 48.2%. That was still fifth in the league. We had 481 running plays. I want to see if this trend line continues because I and many others are operating under the belief, the assumption that running the ball is bad and passing the ball is good. It's not that simple, but especially with the team made up the way that it is, it seems to me that passing the ball more is good. So we want to see this trend line continue. This is green because we improved in this area. I want to see if we can continue to improve in this area in 2020. But this is just an overall metric that doesn't do a very good job of capturing situational things. So we drill down a little bit more with some of these other metrics, and I'll go through them real quick. First down run percentage. What percentage of the time are the Seahawks running the ball on first down. In 2018, we ran the ball on first down 64% of the time. This was by far first in the league, almost 300 running plays on first down. In 2019, that number dropped all the way down to 54%. Still 10th, still 284 running plays called on first down, but <clears throat> we can see we trended in the right direction here. So that's good because I've I mentioned before how running the ball on first down tends to set you up for failure. So the fact that we are shaving this number down significantly is good. However, we have two first down metrics here I want to go over in which we backslid in 2019. And I want to see us improve here in 2020. When we were facing a first down in 15 or more, so basically a first down after a false start penalty or an illegal formation penalty, we ran the ball 41% of the time. Now, it's only nine plays. It's only nine plays, but this stuff adds up. If you run the ball on first down and 15 or first down and 18 or first down and 17, 
you're really kind of setting yourself up for just giving up on the possession. So I want to see this number go down. It did not go down in 2019. It went up. We ran the ball on 48% of these first and long situations. That was sixth in the league. That's almost one play per game where we would run the ball on first and long. And then we have first and very long where we backslid big time in 2019. 2018, we ran the ball on 29% of our first and very long situations. That was 14th. We only did it four times, which, you know, pretty near league average. In 2019, we did it a whopping 50% of the time. It's only seven plays, but that's a play every two games, basically. Third in the league. The third highest rate of running the ball on first and very long. Running the ball on first and very long tends to be code for let's just get the punt team out there on the field. So I really don't like that. All right, moving on, the second down run rate of the Seahawks. This is pretty obvious. What percentage of the time is the team running on second down? And obviously, second and short is a situation where running the ball makes some sense. But <clears throat> that doesn't mean that a team with a quarterback this good and receivers this good should be running the ball more often than they're passing the ball on second down. So in 2018, we ran the ball 53% of the time on second down. That was second in the league. We did it 192 times. We did trend in the right direction in 2019. We only ran the ball on second down 47% of the time. This was sixth, and it happened 187 times. So we did gently trend in the right direction in terms of passing the ball more on second down. But I wanted to drill down a little more. Are we actually trending in the right direction? Second down and medium. Second down and five to nine yards to go. So basically assuming a small to modest gain on first down, what did we like to do? 2018, 52% of the time we would run the ball. That was third in the league. 82 times we did this. We shaved down significantly in 2019. 43% of the time we ran the ball on second and medium. That was ninth in the league, only 71 times. So trending in a positive direction. I want to see this number get down to 40 or below in 2020. Let's keep trending in this direction. Less running, more passing. Okay, second down and long. I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this as well. We trended in the right direction here in 2019 as well. 43% of the time in 2018, we would run the ball on second and long. And this is a disaster in my opinion. There's nothing worse than running the ball on second and long. You're just setting yourself up for third and long, which sets yourself up which sets yourself up for a punt. This was fifth in the league. We did it 57 times. That is three and a half times a game, almost four times a game. That's big. The next year we trended in a good direction. We were 35%. Only 35% of the time did we run the ball on second and long. This was still seventh. Still 50 times, which is more than three times a game. Still not okay, but we were trending in the right direction. Let's get this number below 30. Last two metrics in the home stretch here. We have a third down run percentage. In 2018, we ran the ball on 27% of our third downs, which was sixth in the league, 59 times. We basically held even in 2019. We would run the ball 25% of our third downs. Again, sixth in the league, shaved it down a couple of attempts, but still among the top numbers in the league in terms of running the ball in these situations. Um, in terms of third and medium and third and shortish, we were actually pretty good the last couple years. We did a pretty good job of making sure we threw, pa pa we had passing plays in those third and seven, third and eight, third and six situations. We were right in line with league average. I'm not worried about that. We seem to have a good handle on that. My concern in third down situations really is right here. Third down and 12 or more. Third and long. In 2018, we ran the ball on 34% of our third and long situations. That's second in the league. 13 overall. So almost once a game, we would run what I call the give up play. And we all know it's a give up play. It's let's just try to get a few yards for the punt unit. Let's just get this possession over with, which to me is a problem when you have a great quarterback. You should not be running these give up plays on third and long. You should be passing it pretty much every time. 
the unless you're back up inside your own two yard line, the benefit is not outweighed by the risk. We did trend in the right direction in 2019. We got this number down to 24%. 24% of the time we ran the ball on third and long. Still sixth, still sixth in the league, but eight plays. I'm not going to freak out about that. It's one every two plays. It's signi one every two games. It's significant. It's something that can easily be corrected if we just pass the ball a couple more times a month in these third and long situations. All right. So this was the quickest one of these videos I've made so far. It's a pretty simple exercise. We're just going to be trying to cut down on running plays this year, and especially running plays in situations where you shouldn't be running the ball. In my opinion, these are all situations that should be heavily weighted to passing the ball, and I want to see us be heavily weighted to passing the ball in these situations. All right. So that's what you can look forward to. On a weekly basis when the season starts, I want to see all these numbers come down. I want to see the run percentage closer to 44 or 43. I want to see the first down run percentage down around 46 or 45. Get me these numbers as low as possible. Get these numbers to single digits for all I care. I don't want to see running plays on first and long. I don't want to see second down and medium or second down and long running plays. Let's get these numbers down a good 10 to 12 percentage points. And let's never run on third and long. Like, like, why would you ever run the ball on third and long unless it's third and 40 and you really are and you actually have a good reason to give up? I mean, come on, guys. You have a good quarterback. You don't have Sam Darnold. That's all I'm saying. But, yeah, so keep an eye out for this series as the season starts. See you guys later. Go Hawks. And that is my plan for this season. Win, lose, or draw every game. We're going to be getting down into the nitty-gritty of what this team is doing, their decision-making, their, their um, most important areas of concern, and we're going to see how the team's doing in those regards. Peace.